so this is what we have seen the expression for your velocity and that v is equals to plus or minus omega square root of a square minus x square yeah so the same expression you can also obtain with the help of your equation of your displacement also so where you will get velocity obviously so y is equals to you can write it down that is your a sin omega t and after that just take the dy by dt so which is nothing but v again again we can say that so obviously a omega cos omega t again further i can write it down that is a square minus y square yeah so this is also how you will get the expression for your velocity so for this particular case you can find the maximum and minimum value for your velocity as well so the maximum velocity will occur when the particle is at mean position so when x is equals to 0 obviously the particle come towards the mean position so at that point the particle is having the maximum velocity and it is given as obviously plus or minus a into omega similarly you can find the minimum velocity to find minimum velocity so when you will get the minimum velocity so when the particle is at extreme position yes yeah, so when the particle is at extreme position so you will get the minimum velocity so for that particular case so where i can say that so in x is equals to a so x is equals to a so that is at extreme position so v is equals to plus or minus omega again that is your a square minus your a square so which becomes zero so v minimum you will get zero yeah so the minimum velocity will be zero so which is nothing but when the particle is at your obviously extreme position where x is equals to a 